Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And this time I just want to show you how you can build simple but effective backgrounds for your scene with a couple of MoGraph techniques and tricks. So why don't we just start with the scene and build this one from scratch. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I have another scene I want to quickly discuss with you. How would I build like these simple structures there? Um, of course, this smells like MoGraph and of course I used MoGraph for it. Of course, like in the previous setup, you could also take cubes, duplicate them, then put it into nulls and make render instances of them and manually put it here and there. But I think with cloner and more massive setups, I would go for MoGraph, of course. For example, in this scene, um, everything that is not in camera, so I just show you I had a camera like this one. And of course, I would not build stuff that is, that is outside of the camera, so this is not necessary. And maybe one more tip, if you build like massive scenes and you reach your scene scale, what I mean is the viewport clipping. So most of the time you will get errors like this one. Okay, so what the hell is happening here? But of course, you just go to your view clipping, set it to huge, and then you can work in scenes that are just a bit more big in size. All right, so how would, so how would I go to build that stuff? Let me just show you maybe in a new scene. So jump into a new scene, and why don't we just grab a cube? I think I just make it like this one. Give it a small fillet that just always helps to make it more beautiful. So. You can see these beautiful angles there. The edges give me maybe a couple of cubes. So I say once one that looks like this, give me another one with a variation here. Uh, how about a more thin one? Maybe even more thin, bigger. Um, yeah, just give yourself some cubes there to give you couple of variation in your scene. So I think this is just a bit too big. So go for something like that. And maybe I would just make one more that is more tiny. Mm, something around that. Okay, that's perfect. And I think I just want to get them into a cloner. All right, so not so complicated what I'm doing here. Um, maybe I just make I just make it just a little bit more interesting. Okay, so I just freestyle here, but let's say this one will be a little hierarchy with a more, with a little cube inside of it. So let me just say, we just build one more there. And let's see, let's put one here. So I don't know if this is really necessary. Maybe we. Maybe we make the same with this one. So sorry, put one into it. Uh, just put it into it. Uh, go there, make it bigger. Okay, maybe one more. Let's say this one will look like that. Okay, maybe put it to one side of it. Okay, I just make this just a little bit more interesting. Just for myself, that I feel better. Okay. So how about we say this one also will have an element there and maybe one more here. Okay, so I just think this will make it just a little bit more interesting. So we also have cubes with hierarchies in this cloner. And now I just say it is time to put this one into a perfect grid array. Oh, lovely. Put it to 10 by 10. Okay, so that's a good start, but it is too organized. So I would say, so put this one to random. Okay, that's nice. I just want to see my lines here. Okay, that's helpful. I say, let's go with 15 by 15 and put uh, instances to multi instances. I think this would be just faster in the calculations. Of course, you could already be satisfied, but I think I just want to give it a bit more randomness. So how about we just go, let me think about it. Let's go with a shader effector this time. Let's say the shader effector shouldn't be with the scale, but with the rotation. And let's say, so for now, 
Now let's put this to 360. For now, all of them are turned 360. But I think I know a little trick here. So how about we just put a random field inside here. So all of them have different rotation values. But let me just use a quantize on top of it. And it's already set up in a good way. So if you put it to four steps, that just means every step will be a, a rotation of 90 degrees, right? And all in all, this will be all together 360 degrees. So now all of them are turned into a perfect 90 degree angle. And this will also give it more variation. I think I just want to push it just a little bit further, go to a random effector and put this one to a scale variation of two. Okay, that's nice. And why don't we just make a little position variation in the height, put this to 20, put this one, maybe just put this one to 60 or even 200, that's better, and give it also 200 on the set. I think this is a beautiful background there. So if you have holes in your scene, you could also just grab a plane there, put it to maybe, let's see, 4000 by 4000. That was a bit too fast. All right, perfect. And if you have still need to be to adjust it manually, you could of course still grab cubes, for example, put one of them here to get more of a clean space there, grab this cube and put it wherever you need it. For example, I would just put it there for, so, so put it just there, put your main objects on it. I don't know, so you can still of course put more cubes into your scene and use the cloner setup as a fast background and now just build even more on top of it. For example, some hero objects there. So here would be a really huge one. I don't know. So of course you can just uh, continue from here. And that is the way I would build some fast and easy background for another scene. All right, guys on YouTube, I hope you learned something in this little lesson. But let me just quickly tell you about another special place. It's patreon.com 3D Bonfire. So I'm also there and will give you lots more of the good stuff. So there are three different levels to support me. And I will support you with different content. For example, another tutorial, scene files, X particle stuff. Uh, let me just see. So assets, there is actually quite something going on. Okay, so. I just made an extended version of this training and there are a lot of scene files this and last week because I think I just started the scene files weeks with lots of X particle scene files and some of the soft body training files. Uh, there are bonus lessons, different material lessons and actually it's just a good place to learn Cinema 4D. So thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Good.